Being a hero is hard. It takes a lot of courage, selflessness, and compassion to do the right thing. And it goes beyond panels. Superheroes have inspired many real life heroes, so today we're going to introduce you to some of these awesome people who are making a difference in their communities, all while donning a cape and cowl. So let's jump into our list of the top 10 real life superheroes. And at 10 we have the Statesman. Banker by day, superhero by night, this vigilante wears the Union Jack and operates out of Birmingham in the UK. The Statesman mainly focuses his efforts on stopping drug deals and preventing robberies. And he's got some pretty sweet mutton chops to boot. Like many of the heroes on this list, he's not an advocate of violence, and generally carries around a flashlight, a sharpie, and a notepad in order to help him fight crime. Up next at 9 we have DC's Guardian. You guessed it, this hero works out of DC Washington, patrolling the streets while handing out copies of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Maybe he should swing by the White House then. I feel like a few of those guys need some brushing up on those. Anyway, DC's Guardian has a uniform that's Captain America inspired, and just as patriotic. He's an advocate of freedom, saying that the advantages we have as Americans come at a price. And if we forget that price, we are bound to lose that freedom. And at 8 we have Life. Based in Manhattan, New York, Life is a bit of a minimalist superhero when it comes to his costume, which is fitting since his MO is giving to others. Life travels around the city with a backpack full of supplies, from toothbrushes, soap, and even candy bars, handing them out to homeless people in need. And because of his upbringing, he was taught to leave the world a better place that he found it, focusing on spreading charity, courtesy, and kindness. He says, if I can inspire someone to do even the littlest of things to help others, and they can in turn do the same, think of how many thousands of people have been helped. And at 7 we have Motormouth. In 2010, after a police officer was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter for shooting an unarmed black man, riots broke out on the streets of Oakland. That's when Motormouth stepped into action. He said, and I quote, We went to Oakland, we defended its businesses, we protected its people, and we were bold in what we did. The bay is our home, and we stood our ground and stood up for it. And at 6 we have the Vigilante Spider. Wearing a costume that has some serious Deadpool vibes, the Vigilante Spider has been active for over 11 years, working in and around the San Diego area. And he uses violence as his last resort. He says, and I quote, I was never really comfortable with the classic comic book stance that might is right. Because in real life, when it comes to that, it's not what people expect. Instead, Spider likes to call people out on the things that they shouldn't be doing, using tactics like shining bright lights, sneaking up on people, and appearing when he's least expected. And in our number 5 spot is Mr. Extreme. Working in San Diego, California, Mr. Extreme strongly believes in the power of the individual. Having been the victim of violent crimes when he was younger, he's used all of his negative experiences to do something positive and take a stand for those who are being victimized. He goes on patrols of the city, participates in outreach efforts, and generally looks to find ways to better improve the city. He even says that he's actually saved a life from volunteering, so he knows that what they do is very valuable and meaningful. In our number 4 spot is Nyx. Here we have the only female superhero on our list. So Nyx may have gone through some several name changes at the beginning of her superhero career in New York City, but one thing has always stayed the same. Her commitment to the homeless. She says that being poor means being an illness, an accident, or a paycheck away from living on the streets, and that makes the homeless easy targets on many levels. In order to help, Nix is constantly patrolling the city at night, from foot patrols to cart patrols, and anonymously reporting to the police. Up next at 3, we have Soundwave and Jetstorm. As we know from comics, you don't have to be an adult to be a hero. Soundwave and Jetstorm are a prime example of this. This is a sister brother duo who uses the power of their voices, and they're the youngest members of the Real Life Superhero Project, who began their work in 2007 and 2008, respectively. Soundwave started her career as a superhero as a way to break out of her shell. She said, I was really shy, so I made my character fit me. It gave me an excuse to not talk too much, but still do something. She also says that you can do whatever you want to do. Hand out toys, flyers, go to food drives, convince people to do something even if it's small. In at number 2 we have Phoenix Jones. Operating in Seattle, Phoenix Jones is a mixed martial artist who's signed to the World Series of Fighting, who also puts on a superhero costume to confront criminals. He wears a bulletproof vest and carries a stun baton, pepper spray, handcuffs, and a first aid kit when he's on the go. He's also notoriously the most bad real life superheroes, having chased down car thieves, followed an accused stabber until police apprehended them, and stopped one man from pistol whipping another. But he's also had some pushback from the police, having been arrested for an altercation with pepper spray. And finally in our number one spot is Thanatos. Thanatos is a superhero who protects the streets of Vancouver BC in Canada. Where does his name come from? It's the Greek personification of death. This 63 year old hero started his career when a police officer once told him that the only thing some homeless people have to look forward to is death. So he figured that, and I quote, death better get out there and start taking care of these people. He mainly Finley operates around East Hastings, which is one of the most poverty riven areas in Canada, making rounds delivering bundles of goods and basic human necessities. There we have it guys. Do you know of any real life superheroes we should have mentioned on our list? Let us know in those comments below. But for now, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons so you never miss another nerdy list. I've been Kelly Pally for Top 10 Nerd and I'll catch you guys in the next one.